Good morning, welcome to the Golf Bike Online product testing. Today we're testing the Motor Caddy S3 trolley. Motor Caddy's top trolley. Uh, the S3 model comes in three colours. Uh, we've got two of the three colours here for you to look at. We've got the white, which is the funkier of the three colours, as you can see there. Uh, it also comes in the all black finish and a titanium finish, which is a silver finish. I uh, haven't got that for you to look at. Features of the S3, uh, total weight with the battery 15 kilos, 8 kilos for the trolley, 7 kilos for the battery. Just show you uh, quite simply how to you know, assemble and fold the trolley. You can see there from the side, the white version, funky looking. Uh, this is its setup. And then just the little blue tag here, just that undoes. Bottom bar fold, uh, lays down. This folds over. And the bottom bar comes over the top and clicks on there. That's it, assembled for storage way in the car. It can be lifted, as you can see it's not going to open up. It's very, very robust. Uh, another feature is obviously quick release wheels you've got here. As you can see we've just got the tag here. That's pushed in. Release the wheel, you know, for cleaning or for storage in the house or storage in the boot. Very, very simple. Uh, it's obviously the opposite now to open it up. The blue tile here just opens lifts out, as you can see there that lifts, easy release, doesn't take a lot of strain to open that up and then the main axle of the trolley, lift up, make sure that's completely flat and then you've got the hook here which just clips underneath, very straightforward, that locks in and the trolley is assembled. Uh, looking at the the size of the trolley obviously with, with people needing it measured to to go into the car. If we just dismantle it again, just to show you quickly, very very straightforward. The storage away in the car, that locks in, you're looking at wheel to wheel, just over 23 inches, and then full length of the trolley, 34, just under 34 inches. So easily packed away, very nice design. Obviously, again, eight kilograms for the trolley. It's not massively heavy. It needs to be relatively heavy to be robust and to withstand the conditions and to obviously drive the golf bag around the golf course in all conditions. Uh, looking at the features of the trolley, if we pull the black one here. This one's got the battery already attached to it. So shown how to dismantle the trolley and to set it up. The battery very straightforward, it's logged in, locked in here. The battery comes off there. This is a normal 18 hole battery, small compact. Obviously if you wanted to go with a 36 hole battery it's going to be a lot bigger. Connection, very very straightforward, very clever what they've done. You just set it up, if you can just zoom in here, you can see that's the connection going in and then you've got the arrow there, you just lay it over the top, push down, it's that simple. The battery's connected, so to connect it, straightforward, to disconnect it, unplug that, lift that out, very, very straightforward. If we connect this up now, just to show you the features of the trolley, that's set up. If you come down on the handle here, you've obviously got the T-bar handle, both right or left hand can be used to drive the trolley, very, very straightforward. You've got the main speedometer here, and then you've got the A and B button either side of the speedometer. If you can zoom in on the screen there please, you can see the different features. So we've got top left here is the time, right is the speed of the trolley once it's in flow, the middle number here surrounding the blue circle is the speed of the trolley which is just going to be changed, we just zoom out slightly with the speed dial here. So that will change accordingly between speeds 1 and 9. Obviously normal walking speed on flat is about 2, 3 or 4. Uphill you're going to need to go at more speed and vice versa. Down, downhill you can just change it accordingly. Um, so just to show you the speed there, if we press the button to go, that's on 3, that's normal walking pace and then that can be just be changed up 
and down. Very, very straightforward. The button here just to stop it, press down, trolley stops. Stationary, fine. Other features on the LCD screen here, you've got the battery power here on the left, so you can see exactly how long is left. Uh, the time, as we've said, you've got the speedometer there and the speed, and then you've got, if you just zoom in here, you can see distance one on the left hand side, and quite straightforward, you can change it distance one, distance two, distance, total distance, excuse me. Distance one, as you can see there, from just the display showing, that shows 29 meters. Meters and yards available, all straightforward in the brochure how to change that over. But you can obviously use this to help you on the course with distance control. What that will do is if you're set up on the tee and you drive the ball off the tee, you can just use that measurement there. Go from the tee box to the ball, straight line, and then that will give you the distance that you've hit the ball. So not only that will help you with the course management, but it will also give you a good insight as to how far you're hitting it. Very, very straightforward if you come back in on how to take that, um, take that measurement off. So if you come in, I'll just show you how to take the measurement off. So the 29 meters is acquired there. All you need to do is hold the A button, the left hand button down for three seconds. That'll go back to zero. And then to get to distance two, which this is generally used uh, motor caddy say that it's designed to be used for uh, course management for yardage into the green so what you can do is change it to distance two again that's on 29 meters but that can be changed by just holding it down for three seconds on the a button say you're at the 150 yard marker and you need to establish how far you've got into the green you just measure it from the 150 yard marker to your ball and then you can calculate that off the distance that you need to hit it so say you're 20 yards in front and you know you only need to hit a 130. Uh, third distance feature is the total distance, so that won't change, that'll just give you the overall kilometer or miles tra uh, distance travel of the trolley. Um, and then the other main feature is the distance control. To establish the distance control, you just need to hold down the speedometer button for a few seconds and it'll come up and change there. As you can see, it's got five meters. Again, you can change the speed between five and 60 meters I believe. What this will do is when you press the button the trolley will travel on its own and stop after that distance. So if we just do the five meters just to show you, press the button, it counts it down five, four, three, two, one and the trolley stops on its own. If you set that accidentally and it's going and you need to stop it just by pressing down on the button there will stop any more movement on that distance. And um, so that's gone through the main features of the trolley there, obviously very, very good features uh, and the price point is very, very keen. Uh, the bag stands, just to show the setup here, you've got the adjustable bag stand, uh, top bag stand and bottom bag stand here. So it's very, very straightforward to get the bag on the trolley. Got one here, we'll pop it on, just set it on the bottom base and on the top, close the top here as you can see closes round and on the bottom if you come down it sits very nice and snug to the bag whatever shape of bag you've got it will limit the movement and obviously be very good you've got the toggles here that just comes over attach it to the hook on the other side great and the same on the top he comes round very very straightforward doesn't take an awful lot of strain and we're away so obviously you can see there they're putting a lot of strain on the trolley, there's absolutely no movement in the bag at all. So you're not going to have any problem with the bag bumping left and right. Very, very good design and very straightforward just to undo. This, could, excuse me, this will come off there. And on the bottom, come off. The bag comes off. Take the battery out. Battery comes off. Fold the top, bag stand down, lift it off, here, fold, this comes over the top, clicks on, trolley in the car, battery in the car, and bag in the car. 
which is very, very straightforward and very, very good features as we've shown. Any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at shop at golfbyonline.com. Thank you very much for watching.